Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got another Top 5 Tuesdays for you. This is a weekly series I'm doing in collaboration with the Glam Dr. Mona Khan. I will link down to her channel and her video in my description box. So this week, we've got a very, very exciting category for you. Probably one of my favorites, but this is liquid highlighters. So if you're interested in finding out what my top five liquid highlighters are, then just keep on watching. So I think I'm gonna start with the oldest to the newest, oldest being the one that's been in my life the longest. So I'm gonna start with the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer in number two. This guy, I think this is the fourth bottle I've had. I haven't gone through all of them, but they have gone bad on me because um, this is a pretty big bottle of liquid highlighter. I love using this by itself. I love adding this to foundation. And if you add it to your foundation, it gives your foundation like this really beautiful glow. In direct lighting, you will see little bits, little shimmers of like micro glitters. So if that bothers you, this may not be the one for you. But if you're going to be in dim lighting, um, like out at, um, you know, out to dinner where they have very sort of like atmospheric lighting, this looks beautiful. It just gives your skin that like candlelit glow. It's so gorgeous. I love how versatile this is. Again, wear by itself, add it to foundation, um, add it to any other sort of like liquid product and you just give it sort of like a little like shimmer. So I really love the Armani Fluid Shears and this comes in a whole bunch of different colors and they're just beautiful. Really, really great texture. So the second liquid highlighter that's been in my life the longest is the Tom Ford Skin Illuminator and this is in the shade Firelust. I don't Think that there are any other shades um, to the skin illuminator line so this is a really kind of peachy based highlighter and it's um it's just it's really really gorgeous i love my favorite way to use this is to add it to foundation it gives um, any foundation, like if I do get a little bit of color, it kind of adds just a little bit of warmth to the foundation. So I very rarely use this by itself, but when added to foundation, I'll add maybe like half a pump of it to one pump of foundation. And here it is by itself. I hope you can see that on the back of my hand. Um, but it just has like a, a hint of peach to it. I know it looks a lot more peachy in the bottle, but it doesn't come off that way. It actually comes off a little bit more golden. But this also would be great on its own, um, as sort of like a blush topper or a blush base if you want to put it down first to kind of emphasize any sort of powder blush you want to put on top of it. But this is a really, really beautiful, beautiful formula. I just, I just love it. So the next one I have is the Marc Jacobs Do You Dew Drops and this is the like coconut gel highlighter, I think is what they call it. Yeah, coconut gel highlighter. And this is another one that gives off such a beautiful peachy sheen. It's a little bit less... Ooh, I just squirted a lot out. It's a little bit less um, golden than the Tom Ford Skin Illuminator. This is actually a little bit closer to the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer, and you can see that actually in the in the bottle. I put way too much on my hand. <laughs> I, like a huge squirt came out. Sorry, let me try. <laughs> I'm trying to spread this out a little bit. Uh, what I like about this versus the Fluid Sheer is that there are no micro glitters. So if that bugs you, this is a great alternative to the Armani Fluid Sheer. It is um, basically has like kind of the same tone. It's like a warm, has a golden undertone. It's really, really pretty. And it doesn't hurt that it kind of smells like suntan lotion. And what I like about this particular formula is you can put it down on your cheeks and then let it set and then kind of start to blend it out and it really starts to work into the skin and you can blend it out so there are no harsh lines so you don't look like you know the tin man across your cheeks so i do really like this formula i do like the effect it gives your skin it's all right next up we have the charlotte tilbury beauty light wand in easy highlighter so this is the one that comes in that sponge tip applicator you twist it open you squeeze some product comes out and then you kind of dab it onto your cheeks um, there's not a lot of product in here. A lot of people think this is really gross. I think it makes for a really easy application, but um, yeah, if you think about it too long, it is kind of gross that this sponge is sort of just sitting there. So let me just show you what this product looks like. So here is the Beauty Light Wand. This one is um, stronger than the other three that I've mentioned. It has also a little bit more coverage, if you will. The other three are very, very sheer. You know, once you kind of blend it out, the Marc Jacobs is probably a little bit more opaque than the Tom Ford and the Armani. Um, and then I think this one is even more opaque than the Marc Jacobs. 
So this you do not need a lot of, and I'm thinking maybe that's why it doesn't come with too much, but I feel like if you just dab it once on each cheekbone and blend it out, it's like plenty. I think what's the most interesting about this one is, I don't know if you can see it over the camera, but it is the most peachy in tone. It's even more peachy, I think, than this one, which looks a lot more peachy in the bottle, but this has a really distinct rosy peachy color, which is very, very pretty if you have um, a fair skin tone like I do. I do like to take this one to travel because it is easy to use. So yeah, so that's the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. So last but not least, these are highlighters that very recently came into my life, I wanna say over the last month or so. Um, these are the Liquid Lumieres by Chantecaille, and I'm just gonna mention the two colors that I have. Uh, one is Brilliance and one is Sheen, and the Brilliance one is a little bit more um, golden and uh, and warmer and sheen is a little bit rosier and has like a cooler tone to it so here is brilliance and here is sheen I have not blended them out yet I just wanted to show you the tonal difference there these feel um, similar to the Marc Jacobs they're both gel based and I don't know if you can see that, but here's Brilliance, here's the warmer, more golden one, and here is Sheen, which has like a cooler, pinkier tone to it. I'm a huge fan of this particular formula because I think it's the most elegant looking highlight. It's not too, it's not too bright, it's not too reflective, there are no micro glitters in there. It just is a very glow from within kind of finish. They're very easy to work with. Um, it's difficult to put on, you know, too much. You can just dab a little bit over your cheekbones and then all of a sudden you really look like you're well rested. So I'm a huge, huge fan of these. And while I'm generally a fan of like a pump dispenser, I just feel like for some reason when it comes to highlighters, I like this too better. I feel like I have a little bit more control over how much comes out depending on how much I press. With the pump, it's sort of, it's difficult. You know, you end up kind of pumping a whole one, like what I did with the Marc Jacobs one, and a whole like dollop comes out. Where with these, I can just squeeze out a little bit and get exactly what I want and I don't feel like I'm wasting any product. So I do like these tube applicators. So those are my top five favorite liquid highlighters. Definitely let me know down in the comments what your favorites are. You guys know I'm a total highlighter junkie. I don't care what form it comes in, powder, liquid, cream, whatever. Let me know. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.